Welcome to Section 4, Security and Networking. In this section, we're going to take a look at configuring the local password policy and security settings, managing the Windows firewall, uh, multi-homing and static routes, dealing with multiple network interfaces. We'll spend some time with NIC teaming and then go through some network diagnostic tools. Let's move ahead into configuring the password policy. In this video, we'll take a look at the local policy editor. We'll spend some time changing the local server password policies and then look at how we can export and import those policies to different servers. So I'm going to log in to server one, and click on start and type in local and you should see an application called local security policy right here. This is going to open the local security policy management console and as you can see here, we have several different areas where we can modify the policies. For the purposes of this video, we're going to spend our time in the account policy section here, uh, specifically under the password policy. So this local policy console is a place where you can make rule changes for a server. Typically, many of these same changes would be done through group policy and active directory, which we'll actually be taking a look at in the next section. For now, this is if you're working off of domain with a single server or with multiple servers that aren't joined to a domain and how you can work with those policies locally. So we'll go ahead into the password policy section and here you can see you have several options. We can enforce the password history so that you can't reuse an older password and just keep switching between the same two or three. We can set a maximum age when your passwords will expire. We can set length and a few more options here. And if you ever want to know more about it, you can always right click and go to properties or double click. And it'll go to a page here where you can change the value for that rule. But then you can also click on explain and it will go through here and give you a paragraph or two of what you can do with this setting. So we can go ahead here just to test this out. Click on the minimum password length and let's say we require 10 characters for a password. Click on apply and OK. Now once you've applied that, this is active. So if we go into computer management, select our local users and find one of our packed accounts here to change. I will try to set the password and we'll just pick nine characters. And you'll see when I click OK, the password does not meet the password policy requirements. Check either the length, complexity, or the history requirements. So unfortunately, in this context, you can't see specifically what you're violating, where you can't change this password. Since we made the change, we should know what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and try again now with a longer password. And now that we've exceeded 10 characters, you can see the password will now be set. So now that we've set that policy for a single server, we can take a look at how we can get this to our other servers. This is as easy as going up to the top of the security settings and you can select from the action menu, either import or export the policy. Since we want to move this policy to another server, I'm just going to save to the desktop, policy.inf. And now we can see we have the policy here. And this is just an INF file. If you open it, we'll do with Notepad. And you can see here that these options all have their values set in the INF. So you can make changes here in a text file and move those around. Or you can make the changes through the console. This may be easier if you're trying to follow infrastructure as code or check things into to version control or leave some sort of audit trail for people to review. So with that, we're just going to leave this with our change uh, for this minimum password length. We now have server two that we want to have a consistent policy with. So I'm going to copy this and switch over to my second server. And we will paste it to the desktop here. Load our local security policy. And let's just verify what our current password policy is. We have it set to six characters here. So we have inconsistency across both. But we can go ahead and import our policy from the desktop check again. We now have 10 characters and it's consistent. 